Hey, Freddie with CG Off-Road. Keeping the transmission cool and lubricated is always important. So today we're going to be installing this B&M D-Dish transmission pan on our 2016 F-150. I have Jeremy from B&M. What can you tell me about this transmission pan? Thanks for having me, Freddie. Uh, yeah, this is our new pan. It fits the 09 and up uh, F-150s, the 6R80 transmission. Uh, gives you a little bit more fluid capacity. Yeah. Has cooling fins here to keep it cool if you're out towing or just playing around off-road, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Um, it's got a very convenient uh, drain plug right here. So if you need to change the fluid, no mess. Just pop that out, fluid runs out. Also have an accessory port here if you want to get a, uh, a transmission temperature gauge. Awesome. Let's get to the installation. Tools you'll need for this installation, a lift or a jack and jack stands, eight millimeter socket, an extension, 3 16 hex key, 3 8 hex key, 3 8 ratchet, a torque wrench, 8 millimeter wrench, 19 millimeter wrench, some rubber hose to fill the transmission, and 10 and a half quarts of Mercon LV fluid. All right, we got the truck up in the air. What's the first thing we should do? Well, Freddie, we're going to start by taking off this fiber uh, skid plate. There's two bolts up here, and then there's one on each side. Drop that, and we'll get right to the training pan. All right, easy enough. There's four bolts on here, and they're all eight millimeter. Okay, so we're about ready to drop the transmission pan. Now there's no drain plug on the factory one, so it's probably gonna make a mess when we remove all the bolts. So we have this big piece of cardboard we're gonna put on the ground and a drain pan just to catch all the fluid that comes out because most likely it's gonna make a mess. Okay, now that we've got the skid plate off, we're gonna take off all these bolts around the training pan. You'll need an eight millimeter socket. We're gonna start up here at the front and just slowly let the uh, pan come down so the fluid's gonna come out. Like you said earlier, this is going to be a messy job. Yep. Uh, that's why we put a drain plug in the replacement training pan that's going to go on there. It makes things a lot easier. Yeah. As we're removing these, you don't have to worry about putting them in someplace special or dropping them in your pan because our new training pan is going to come with new supplied hardware. Uh, so you're not going to reuse these. All right, as you can see, a lot of fluid's coming out. Just keep removing the bolts, but try to keep the draining controlled so you can easily catch it. You definitely don't want three quarts of ATF all over your driveway or garage. For the majority of the bolts in this transmission pan, you can use an eight millimeter socket, but for the four in the very back of the pan, they're kind of hard to see. You're probably gonna need an eight millimeter ratcheting wrench. It's just not a good area for a socket to get into. And you might want to do this after the vehicle's cooled off a little bit because it's right over the exhaust. Yep. You don't want to be wrenching over hot exhaust. Exactly. Okay, we're removing the final bolt now. And this is the part where if you're not careful, it can get extremely messy. Because once this bolt is out, the pan is free. And there's still quite a bit of fluid in the pan. So now we're back here on the bench. We've got the uh, old pan off. We've got the new one here. Uh, we've got a magnet in the factory pan that yep. uh, we're going to put. We're going to transfer over to our B&M pan, but we do have to bolt it in since this is aluminum. It's not going to be magnetic. So yep. let's get that one off. Let's get that wiped up and use our supplied hardware, and we will bolt it in. All right, we got the magnet nice and clean. We're going to put some uh, Loctite here on our bolt threads. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Put the washer in place. Take your bolt with the lock washer. Run it down finger tight and then take a 5 30 seconds hex. Go ahead and tighten it down. While we're at the table, we're going to install the drain plug and the accessory pipe plug while we're here. It's just going to make it a little easier than doing it while it's on the truck. Since we're not using a transmission temperature sensor, we're going to be installing this pipe plug. Um, if you wanted to run a transmission sensor, you can. You just wouldn't be installing this plug. You need to reinstall the transmission filter first and make sure it's in place. You kind of need to hold it, otherwise it will fall out. And then we can install the pan. Good. 
We got two bolts in, which will keep the gasket nice and in place. Now we can install the other bolts. These four bolts on the back of the transmission pan are pretty tricky to get to. If you don't want to drop the exhaust, to get to the bolts provided with B&M, you're probably going to need one of these hex keys with a ball end on it, so you can tighten them at an angle. Or you can use the factory hardware with an 8mm wrench, or you can drop this pipe and then get to them that way. We're going to go around and tighten up the rest of the bolts on the pan, then in a crisscross pattern we'll torque them to 98 inch pounds. Okay, we got them all snug. Now we're gonna to torque them to 98 inch pounds or about 8.1 foot pounds. We're finally at the point where we can fill this. In order to fill the transmission, we have to remove the factory dipstick, which is right here. It's a 19 millimeter socket. Just thread it out set it aside. Now there's a couple different ways you can fill this. You can use a hand pump. We're going to go the old school way. We're going to put some hose into the port where the dipstick came out of. Then we're going to run this hose up and out of the wheel well and gravity feed the fluid into it. So we have the hose in the port and it's running up to the top of the tire out of the wheel well and then we're going to gravity feed it with fluid. We have a little nozzle on our ATF bottle. We'll just gravity feed it with the hose. This might take a little time, but it's the old school method and you don't need any special tools for this. Okay, that's one quart. Now we're just going to add about two more and then we'll keep periodically checking the level. Okay, so we've added all of our fluid to properly check and fill this. The truck needs to be on in park at operating temperature and you need the fluid to be right here on the dipstick. Now this is with it at operating temperature in park and on. And once you get it about here, you should be good to go. All right, so we added our 10 and a half quarts to the transmission, got it filled up pretty good. And now the last thing we have to do is reinstall the splash guard. And our installation's finished. Okay, Frace, we got the B&M tranny pan installed. Besides being messy, <laughs> a lot of that going on, a lot of fluids everywhere, what do you think? Yeah. Well, like you said, I am pretty much covering ATF right now. I can definitely see the benefit of the pan. It's got the drain plug on it, which will make future servicing so much easier. I, right. I really can't believe there isn't a drain plug on it. And I can see how the cooling fins are definitely gonna help and the extra capacity. You know, we do do some towing with this thing, so the cooling effect will really help out with that. And once you get the hang of it, insulation's really not that bad. It should only take about two and a half hours. Really the most tedious part is probably adding the fluid and just keep on checking it. You will need 10 and a half quarts, but other than that, insulation's not too bad. And before you know it, you'll be heading off road.